Well, happy April, everyone. And, and joining us, as always, my good pal, Kata Plus. How are you? Good morning, Chuck. Did you get any uh, April Fool's jokes uh, this week? Did you get tricked? Yeah, as shocking as this may seem, here in public radio, we don't really do <laughs> those, <laughs> those too much. I can only imagine, especially with the whole news cycle that's going on right now. Yes, sir. Folks are a little uptight. <laughs> but enough about us. How, how about you? Did anyone get you for April Fool's? No, I actually try to stay off of the internet and stay in my house during the first day of April. Yes. You're a smart guy. That's why I like you. <laughs> Let's talk uh, some business here. We have so much going on. A literal cornucopia of events with Kata. And the first one, I have an open mind. This could be for families. This could be a great date afternoon out. Something to go and do different. And tulips. We got pick your own tulips at Greenbrier Farms. This is going to be tomorrow, April 5th from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. This is going to be over in Chesapeake. This is a vibrant pick your own tulip event with over 30,000 tulips. Wow. That sounds like I might need a gas mask or maybe like a hazmat suit to avoid all the pollen. Oh. But you can cut your own tulips <laughs> for $2 per stem or you could take the bulb home for $3. Something about this event just feels good. And there are also going to be free photo opportunities with the Easter Bunny on select dates. You get to enjoy the playgrounds, well, you know, for the kids. Uh, enjoy Barnyard Buddies. You got Miss B's Farmer's Market. And uh, there's a note here that says, only cut tulips in the designated field. So please, if you don't know where the designated field is, ask somebody. Don't just go around creating your own adventure and cutting tulips all over the place, all right? Don't do it. Mind the signs. All right, so uh, anything else happening for Friday? We got another thing on Friday. We got the Little Shop of Horrors. This is going to be at James York Playhouse. It, it shows through April 20th and the matinees on Saturday and Sunday. This is a classic. I love it. Now, this is going to be over in Williamsburg, so you might want to get some gas before you go out there. Okay. Yeah, so this is going to be a horror comedy musical by the creators of some of the Disney hits. And it's going to feature a meek florist and a man-eating plant. Uh-huh. You know, that sounds like romance, right? Right. The ticket's going to be $22 for adults and $12 for students. I mean, it seems like we're having a, a plant theme, and I, and I like that we included horror in the plant theme. I love it. Yeah, if you're not familiar with Little Shop of Horrors and maybe you have some little ones, you might not want to bring really young kids to this, especially, you know, before nap time. Nice. Just a little pro tip from Grandpa Chuck and Uncle Kata. <laughs> so uh, over to Virginia Beach, I see something at Ziders. What's going on there? On Saturday, we have... Z Fringe Festival at Zyder's American Dream Theater. This is going to be April 6, 11 a.m. to 10.30 p.m. And it's going to be over in Virginia Beach on Commerce Street. This is two days of self-produced performances ranging from theater to beyond genre pieces. It's a celebration of storytelling and artistic expression where ticket proceeds go back to the artist. Hey! That's always a beautiful thing. Yeah. I want to support anything that gives money back to the artist. How about you, Chuck? You know me. I'm always saying, hey, how do we take care of the, the artists and the people doing it? Because, I mean, let's face it. We cannot eat exposure, so yeah. <laughs> just keep that in mind. Yeah, I, I want to pay my electric bill with likes and shares, please. <laughs> right. <laughs> so good on Ziders for doing that, giving back to the artists, which is nice to see. All right, we're getting short on time. We still have more of Events. So, you know, let's give up the website where people can go and find out more. All right. If you enjoyed hearing about these events and want to see more or just find the location for these events, you can go to creatorworks.org. That's C R E A T O R W O R K S dot O R G. All right, Kata Plus from the Contemporary Arts Network. Thanks a lot for stopping by again. And uh, hey, we'll talk to you next week. Enjoy the uh, eclipse Monday. Yes. You... The eclipse of pollen. I'm aware. No Tom Foolery. And no promises, Chuck. All right. Take it easy. See you next week. And a little note, you can find the podcast for Can Do anywhere you get your podcasts, be it at whro.org, on Spotify or Apple Podcasts. It's Morning Edition.